by his grace we will continue our lesson that God has given to us so we are also going to read from the message the Lord has given to us Philippians 4 Philippians 4 1 to 9 Philippians 4, 1 to 9. This is what the Word of God tells us as we continue to learn from Him through His Holy Spirit. Philippians chapter 4, verses 1 to 9 says, Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and longed for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. Two, I beseech Eudias and beseech Syntyche that they be of the same mind in the Lord. Three, and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me. In the gospel with Clement also and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. For rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. 5. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 8. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. 9. These or those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. So uh, that is God's word. And the agenda or the title, the lesson for today is Thanksgiving for the Lord, thanksgiving for the Lord, thanking Him for all that He has done because He has done great and wonderful things for us. And while we may have um, concern about this or that or anything that uh, we may be going through, we have to look at what the Word of God says. And if we I uh, want to fully understand what God has uh, done. Uh, we already um, you know, hinted that in the proclamation. But let us go back to Mark 11 because we need our faith to be inspired so that when we say uh, we are giving thanks, giving to God, giving thanks, giving to the Lord, it is all because of what we know He has done he has already provided. We may not see it, we may not have, but 
it is important for us to continue uh, to trust the Lord, to have faith in Him, because uh, you no, know, last week we prayed, you know, for God to deliver us. If we pray for God to deliver us, and uh, we have an opportunity to come before the Lord and say, uh, as you know, by faith, we all deal by faith. We don't go with the flesh. We don't go with what we see. We don't go with what we hear. We have to follow what the Word of God says. And it is true, the Word of God, because when uh, the Israelites were, uh, you know, on the verge of, uh, um, you know, the river, the Red, uh, the Red Sea, what were they doing? They were saying, oh, we, we are, uh, who will save us? Who will save us? We are always uh, going to be, we are almost going to be killed because the Egyptians are coming and they have surrounded us. We don't have any other way to go. The sea is in front of us. And how can we cross the sea? We can't cross. We don't even have a boat. We don't have anything. But the uh, Egyptians are behind us. They have their chariot. They have everything. And what did God say? God said to Prophet Moses, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So we have to stand still. We have to uh, be, you know, continue in prayer. Just like we are in a meditation. We are meditating. And when we are meditating and uh, whatever noise is going around, we don't see, we don't hear it. And we all focus on what we are. Because when you are meditating, you are connected with the uh, uh, your Lord, your God, your Savior. You are connected with him and the Holy Spirit is doing his work. So uh, there might be things going on which you may say, oh, can I stop it? No, you just concentrate. So that is the whole purpose because what we read in the Philippians uh, uh, epistle tells us also that we are to just continue to rejoice. We may not see, but rejoice in the Lord. Continue to trust the Lord and uh, we'll see what the Lord will do for us as we continue to trust and wait on him. So uh, now let's read something that will encourage us so that we, when we hear it, we continue to say we are giving thanksgiving to the Lord. We are thanking him. We are praising him for everything that he has uh, done for us. So uh, what did the Lord Jesus Christ encourage us? In Mark eleven twenty two to uh, 26, he says, He says, uh, and Jesus answering said, Mark eleven twenty two again, and Jesus said unto them, Have faith in God. Twenty three. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. 25. And when you stand, when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have oath against any that your father which also uh, also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses 26 but if ye do not forgive neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses amen so uh, the goal or the trick or the strategy for answered prayer is that first the Lord has encouraged us that when we pray he says we have faith that's one so when we have faith in God we are praying to God because he is a, a, a God who answers prayers and as we pray to him we should have faith that oh yes what I've prayed to God uh, he, he has already 
answered me. When we doubt, then it means we don't trust him. So he wants us to have that faith uh, in him to always believe. And then he says that what, whatever, whatsoever, anything we ask, we have to believe that uh, we have it because he gave us uh, something which may look impossible because if the Lord Jesus Christ told us that we can tell a mountain, you know, verse 23, For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things in which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. So again, we look at things and it becomes impossible. And if you look at a mountain and you say, ah, a mountain, how can a mountain be moved? But God is telling us that if we can move a mountain through our prayers, through our faith, then we should believe that we can have all the things that we look at and say, hmm, it's impossible. Well, God is working, so let's have faith.